Hey friends, today I am going to take you with me antique shopping. My mom and I went to some really great stores for my birthday and I found some really fun stuff. So I'm going to take it all home with me and style it with you guys and show you what I ended up coming home with. I always love to show you how I use these items in my home. And so uh, then at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a little tour of my garden, show you what's growing and what's not. So I'm excited to take you guys along. It'll be a fun video and I can't wait to show you what I found. We thought this would look good in Jessica's house. 75. It's a cute table. Oh, yeah. Wow. And only 35. It's got this like neat leather strap, Mom. This one, like for the boys room at 18. This would be so cute in the boys room, wouldn't it? Oh yeah. I might grab that. <laughs> so it's, yeah, that's really cute with the leather. Um, like gravy bowl, chicken gravy bowl. Oh, cool. We sell a lot of chicken stuff. Yeah, I bet. There's some funky pottery over here. Holy cow. <laughs> this is heavy. I'd be heavy to drink out of every morning. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it does. <sighs> I like the coloring, but the lid is kind of funky. Can you take the lid off? Yeah. That's cool. Now, is this a um, chamber pot? Boy, I don't know. I just think it would be cute for like a plant. Yeah. You know? Kind of like the blues. I'll think about that. 95 vintage barber cabinet. That is cute. This looks like something Jess would love. I'm gonna send her a picture of it. It's a pretty copper scoop. All right guys, I wanna take a few moments to tell you about our new Typher Dome air fryer. This thing is amazing and I'm excited to share it with you. Inspired by professional pizza ovens, Typher Dome's dedicated R&D team spent years reinventing the airflow and circulation of the air fryer. This breakthrough renovation has made it possible to cook large quantities of foods. So with a lot of traditional air fryers, you see that they are taller rather than wider. And what I love about the Typher Dome air fryer is that it's nice and wide so that you can lay your food in a single layer rather than stacking it up on top of each other. Obviously when you stack food on top of each other, you're gonna end up with all of this uneven cooking. Some pieces will be crispy, other pieces will be raw, and with the Typher Dome air fryer inspired by pizza ovens, um, you have that even cooking surface. So not only does the Typher Dome air fryer give you double the cooking space, but it also cooks your food up to 30% faster. It also has whisper quiet operation so that it's barely louder than your refrigerator, which is amazing. With the brushless motor, Typher Dome operates at a quiet 55 decibels, well below the permissive exposure limit of 90 decibels set by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. Compared to other traditional air fryers, the Typher Dome's whisper quiet operation makes the ultimate choice for a peaceful cooking environment. Another thing about the Typher dome air fryer that I'm very excited about is the dehydrate mode. I haven't actually tried it myself yet, but I've seen a lot of ideas on the app, which I'll talk about in a second. 
but my boys love dried banana chips, apple chips. So the fact that this air fryer can dehydrate just means that I can make healthy snacks for my kids and I'm just so pumped to try that setting. The Typher Dome air fryer comes with a three year warranty and it also has a self cleaning mode. So you can actually download the Typher app, which I've already done on my phone, and you can use the app for a deep clean about once a month. You can also remove the tray and it's dishwasher safe, so cleanup is a breeze. The app also includes a lot of recipes, which I'm really excited to try, and step-by-step -step instructions in case air fryers are brand new to you. If you'd like to give the Typher Dome air fryer a try, please click the link in my description below so that you can get an extra 10% off with my special code PINEHOME. Again, use the code PINEHOME for 10% off. You can find all the details in the description box below using my special link. I know you guys are gonna love this. We've already tried a few different things with it and I'm so excited to incorporate it into my cooking routine. Click that link in my description so that you can get 10% off of yours using my code PINEHOME. Oh, that is so pretty. What? Oh my goodness. I love that. Wow, that is beautiful. Another box with a leather strap. So cool. Oh my goodness, my mom just showed me this. Little stool, 15. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get that. You can always use stools for little side tables, especially with little ones. Some cute stuff over here. How cute. How cute is this hat? Look at the. I just feel like it'd be so pretty on a wall. It's only $8. And it's got this cute little tie for under your. I don't think it's like super old, but it's just really pretty. <laughs> the two watchers. <laughs> Do you see this little print? <laughs> that little yellow table is cute, isn't it? Yeah, that would be cute if not. It's, I just love the distressing on it, but. It's cute for like a table. I know, I know. Wow, it's a cute yes. green table, like a little wash stand type yeah, of thing. That's high enough to put a vessel on. Okay. But it has to be pretty small. Okay. I'll have to keep an eye out. Oh, let me Here see it. It's so dark. Oh, that is pretty. I like that. What's the price? 14 The frame is really cool, though. I don't mind it. Hmm. Twelve dollars. This is pretty, isn't it? Oh yeah. Just saw this little guy. And I don't see a price. Oh wait, wait. Here's a price. Eighteen on this one. It's pretty though. Hmm. From this booth. Yeah. Actually, this brass frame is pretty. Oh, that is. What'd you find? <laughs> <laughs> that That's is a good cool. price. Look at that price. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Where would you put it? By your fireplace? Yep. Cool, Mom. Yeah, Norway. Oh, look. Oh, All the cool. different countries. Yeah. Super cool. 
I just love, I feel like this is pretty enough to frame. Yep, it is. <laughs> I love this bench. I might splurge for my birthday. Get it. It's just a little bit pricey. Four eighty five. So what does the yellow tags mean? I don't know. I didn't even notice this. Are there like sale items? We can always ask. Oh yeah, that I was like so torn on. I just can't think of another place. I mean, it is skinny enough that it might be pretty. Um, oh, really? <laughs> Let me see. Is it in this booth? Oh, that is really cool. I wonder if it was to drain cheese. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. What a beautiful toilet. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that. Let me look at the price again. It's not bad. I might grab that. Now, shortly after I got home, Mike went and picked out some flowers for me at a local flower stand. He knows that I love blues and whites, and so he went ahead and grabbed some blue thistle and some beautiful limelight hydrangeas which i absolutely love so i went ahead and got those in some water and then i wanted to play with some of the things that i found while antique shopping now the only place that i can really think of for now to put that little pine cabinet is between the two chairs in my living room i'm gonna live with it for a while and see if i like it the one thing that i do love about it is that it is smaller so i can push the chairs closer together and have a little bit more room in my living room space now i do really love that round table that i moved out of here so i would definitely find another place for that i stripped that table and it really is so cute my mom actually gave that to me but i'm like i said i'm gonna try the cabinet here for now and here is the hat that I grabbed at the antique shop. I think it was $8, which honestly is a lot for me. I usually pick them up for a couple bucks at the thrift shop, but that one was special and I wanted to bring it home. 
I love all the details in this cabinet and I especially love the fact that it has a drawer and a door. Obviously, we read a lot in these chairs and so having a spot for our books and just a little drawer to be able to put the remote has been really great and for now I'm really loving it here. Now, I don't know what it is about stools. I love having stools all over my house. I feel like they're so versatile and we use them for so many different things, especially with little ones. They love pulling up a stool to help me bake in the kitchen. Anyways, I stuck this little wooden stool here in the dining room because I thought it would just be great to have in here for extra seating. Someone could pull it up to the table. We always have to go and find extra chairs when we have large crowds over. So um, I just, I thought this was really cute and I'm just gonna leave it here for now. It would also make for a great side table as well. Now, over here in the kitchen, I wanted to add those beautiful blue thistle flowers that my husband got for me. So I put those in one of my stoneware pitchers and I decided to add my new piece of pottery here in the kitchen. Um, I was speaking with the lady that worked at the antique store and I asked her what she thought it was. She said she thought it was way too small for a chamber pot and that she would put biscuits in it. <laughs> so and another lady standing there agreed. She thought it was for some type of kitchen use. Um, anyways, so I'm not sure if I'll put a plant in this piece, uh, but I just really loved the soft blue flowers and the color of it, and I thought it would look really pretty in my kitchen. I love using blue as an accent color in here, especially with my blue stove. And speaking of blue, I did end up getting that cute little chippy blue stool for my kitchen. The, uh, the man actually went lower on the price for me and I love it. It's the perfect shade of blue. It is so pretty here in my kitchen. It's nice and sturdy and my boys have already used it a hundred times to step up, wash their hands, help me when I'm baking or making bread and I just think it's so beautiful and I love it here in my kitchen. So that is another piece that I grabbed with my mom. Now, I did end up purchasing that pink geranium that was in that really cool old galvanized planter at the first antique shop we went to, and I decided to put it in my garden. And since we are over here in the garden, I thought I would share what's growing, what's not growing. Um, some seeds just did not take off, and some did, so we've got radishes already that we've been pulling from the gardens, which is exciting. And um, a friend of ours gave us some zucchini, which is doing great. Our cucumbers are doing great. We've got some sugar snap peas. Um, but the beans, the green beans, the first batch of seeds I used did not take off. Maybe it was a bad batch, I'm not sure. So we planted really late this year. You guys know the whole story behind these beds, but it's been a lot of fun. And here is the pink geranium that I got at that first antique shop. I think it looks so pretty here in the garden right there next to the gate on the pea gravel. And I wanted to share it with you guys. So thank you so much for coming along with me. I have so enjoyed shopping with you today and styling all of my finds with you guys. It's always so much fun sharing what I find. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. 
and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.